guys, today I'm interviewing Aaron Sutton. He is 15 and 0 with three knockouts, and he is the Southern Area Middleweight Champion. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Very, very good to have you on. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. My first question is, how did you get into the sport of boxing? I went to a, um, I started off as like a um, kickboxer to start off with. So um, I got into a bit of training just to basically look after myself, a bit of martial arts. Um, then as it got on, I got offered a, um, a white collar fight in boxing. Um, I obviously said yes to it straight away. And then from there, I just carried on going and going with the boxing. Yes. So why did you... Why did you want to be a pro boxer then? I just well, I never really thought about it. Like with with um white collar, I, um, I was always looking for something to do after I finished school, and um, I went, I never passed a single test in my life, but uh, when it came to boxing, it just I think just came natural to me, and um, I was looking at it, and I was getting, I was getting paid to do white collar, and um, and I thought I'm beating all these top boys in white collar. Why can't I do it professionally? Why can't I do it as a proper job? And now, now I'm here. I'm thinking, why go for it? Yeah, because um, you won uh, the Southern Area title um in March against um Danny Shannon. Yeah. And you yeah, stopped was... him in the fourth round. Yeah, another um, tough lad as well. Um, so yeah, it was a brilliant experience, experienced lad. So I proved myself there again. So. Looking for the bigger titles now. Yeah. I saw that you were meant to be fighting Jez Smith, like, originally, like, um, Saturday just gone. You were be meant to fight Jez Smith, but I don't know what happened with that. Would that be a, a, a fight, or are you going to be trying to look for, look for the this this English title in the new year? Um, I, Like I said, I, I won't say no to it. Um, we are we are are looking forward to like um the English title, British title, or even even the international title. We are looking at other titles at the moment, but um if yeah. those titles don't come, but yeah, definitely definitely be on the cards if it doesn't come. Yeah. Well, you've you've had a really good year, haven't you? Because you've had ah uh, forgot you fought Vladimir in May as well. Yeah, I thought um, Vladimir May, which is another um, tough lad from Bulgaria. Was he, he was hard? Aw- he was awkward, was my best way to describe him. He was very awkward. He had, he came. I watched him on um, videos and stuff, and um, he came out completely different to how I thought he was going to come out. Yeah, and like yeah, he, he had a bit of a similar style to me as well. So it, it made it hard work for me. But um, towards the um, later of the rounds, I think I showed him how good I really was and where I put him down in the last round as well. Yeah. And I proved, proved that I was the far better fighter. Do you do you think if it was a 10-round fight, you could have stopped him? Um. Yeah, definitely. I, he, I ain't going to lie, he got, his, um, he got his feet straight away afterwards. But um, I caught him with an uppercut straight away afterwards again, wobbled him again. So, yeah, I do, do think if there was another two more rounds in it, I do think I could have had another stoppage to my record. Yeah. So was that in Bristol? Are you are you from Bristol? Um yeah, that was yeah, it was in Bristol and yeah, I'm, I'm from Bristol, mate, yeah. Yeah. So so is your dream venue to fight in like Aston Gate or somewhere? Um I'm a Bristol Rivers fan, so I'd rather have the Memorial Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, I I've always um dreamed of fighting on a um, big show, so um hopefully one day I'll be fighting maybe one day in Las Vegas be be a big dream of mine. What so like the MGM? Yeah, places places like that, yeah. Or the Staples Center. Or the O2. O2, yeah. Anything anything I could headline as well would be lovely. Like be nice be nice on like a world title shot one day, maybe. Yeah. But if you just keep training hard and working hard and doing what you're doing, because you're doing really well, I'm sure you'll get these these title shots. But first we're um we're just like you just take it one step at a time. Yeah, it is literally is. It's, it's a long road, so you just got to take one step at a time, and eventually I will be up there, hopefully. 
What's been your hardest fight so far? Hardest fight so far. <laughs> um, my debut was a um was a tough lad. He's um now Welsh champion, Kieran Geffen. He was a yeah very very hard bloke. Um, I would say Welsh lad um Quint Goodridge. He was another tough lad, another Welsh lad. He um just kept coming and coming, and probably the Bulgarian because he was just so awkward. What so, yeah, about probably um... like these two. What about Joel, who you fought on the weekend? Because he's a bit of a heavy hitter. Yeah, I've, boxing ability wise, I felt my boxing ability just got me through comfortably. But um, yeah, he was probably he was probably the hardest hitter I've been in with. He hit, he hit very hard. Always, always, was all power, all power. I think you threw, you felt. So yeah, it was, it was a good experience. Yeah, it was it was a close fight. But when when. Yeah. You, when it went to decision, did you think that you did enough? Um, yeah, I thought I did more than enough. To be honest with you, it said I won by three rounds. I thought I thought I won by five rounds, to be honest with you. I thought I won by a lot more than they said I did. Yeah. But I thought I outboxed him almost every round. I think there's a couple of rounds could have been a draw, but other than that, I thought I won clearly. So do you think you're going to vacate? When are you trying to fight again? Like, in the new year, February or? Um, we are looking in December. We are looking for one in December if it, one if it comes. This year. One more, one more this year, hopefully. Um, so and I'm gonna bang. On. Yeah, exactly. So we're hopefully going to try to get like a title fight or even a title eliminator by the end of the year. Um, if if not, we're going to be looking for January, February time. Yeah. Because maybe you might defend your southern area just this time and then they came to is you know you want to because southern well, area is good that like you've won your area title but i'm i know you're e when you've won that area title you just want to you know go for more don't you oh definitely once once like i said like my my dream as a um a fighter was to win a professional title i won you've that, done that title. already i've done that now i've got that professional title but all of a sudden you got that in the back of your head now no, you want you want more you just get hungry for more so now yeah. I do want to move on and get the next one. I just want belt after belt now. Wait, so is Tyler Denny the middleweight champion in English? I believe so, yes. Yeah. But I think he might vacate it as he's for River yeah. Wilson, Bent and that Brad Ray. So you never know. You might have to fight that Brad Ray or someone. Yeah, like I said, um... Either whatever comes first, really, he, he might vacate it and then I might fight someone completely differently again. So, um, you just, just never just know, a waiting thing. yeah. You just whoever, whoever gets put in front of you for that, you're just fine, yeah. Definitely, definitely. It's um, it's a chance to win the English title. I'll, I'll fight anyone for it. It's it's one of those belts that you, you're gonna want. I never know, I might it might even skip that one and go straight for the British yet. We just gotta wait and see, see what my promoter thinks. and we're just going to take what we can get. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you fought quite a few of like the the good journeymans at your weight as well, like earlier in your career, such as Paul Cummings, Pucci, mm. Jordan Granham. Yeah, it's brought some tough, low, tough, ugh, tough, tough journeymen. So they, yeah, it's got my experience in early as well. Because obviously, that's one thing I did lack as being doing no amateurs. So yeah, it was it was the learning curve from day one for me. Yeah, have you seen that Pooch? He's on a bit of a a, a winning streak, really. He's doing well, isn't he? Yeah, Pooch doing really well. Good, good mate of mine. He's he's brilliant to watch, and especially now he's looking like he wants to go for the wins as well. You can just tell that he deserves so much more than he's got. What weight did you fight Poochie? Because he fights sometimes at light heavyweight. Yeah, I think um we were supposed to put in as a middleweight, but we pushed up to super middle. Oh, so in between, kind of. In between, yeah. So he came down a bit, and I I came up. So could I see you fighting for like a super middleweight title? Um, probably probably in a few years' time, maybe. Yeah, when it's when I find it a bit bit too hard to get down to middleweight. But, you, but at the minute, you're happy at middle, yeah? I'm happy at middleweight. I feel comfortable there. It's, it's not my walkabout weight, but it's a perfect weight for me to get down to. So, 
yeah, maybe middleweight's perfect for me. And then when I struggle to get to middleweight, yeah, I will push up onto super middle. So who's your promoter? Is it Chris Sa- Sanger? Yeah, Chris Sanger is my promoter and Alan Thompson is my coach. So is he, Alan, is he your trainer as well? Yeah, Alan, Alan Thompson's my trainer, yeah. So he does all the um, hard work with me at the gym. Yeah. What's been, like, the best venue that you fought at so far? Best venue? I would say it'd be the Swindon in Mecca. I, 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 that's my favourite venue so far. As what, it felt when like you a, won the title? When I won the title, yeah. It felt like a bit like your call, probably best way to describe it. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, been that. to your call quite a few times. It's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so it felt felt like a bit like that basically. It felt like a lot of fans above you as well. So it was it was nice. It wasn't too big, but it was perfect size. So I I really enjoyed I really enjoyed it. I'll say that's my probably my favorite venue so far. Was that the first time you headlined a show? Um no, I've um I've had the last two Bristol shows I've headlined now. So I've had, I think I've headlined three shows now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I've been been the top of the bill now. So. It's, more experience in my eyes as well. Yeah. Are you are you a big ticket seller then? Yeah, I've, well, I've sold over 100 tickets on almost every um, show I've been on. So I've got, I've got a decent following after me. That's good. For anyone, like, um, who... Have you got, like... What makes you different to every other middleweight? Like, why should people pay to watch you? To watch me? I feel like I'm probably one of the most exciting people. I I mix it up. I can box. I believe I can do it all. Everything in the ring, I believe I can do it. And I have got that knockout power, which I've obviously yeah. start off of my career. I haven't had the chance to show it yet. And I believe well, towards you, the end. You showed it against um Danny. Yeah, I showed it against Danny, which I was allowed to let off let off the leash. Leash. Um, I've showed it with um a couple of lads I fought now, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. It's so yeah, it's about making my record just undefeated basically pretend that I don't have power and now it's, I've been basically let off the leash, leash and now I can show that I've got the power as well yeah. now so which is, which is nice Why did your fight with Jez Smith not happen? I, did he get injured? Um, what I've been told he had a rib injury which is um fair enough um, but it's, so when, it's he, when he pulled out were you not expecting to get like an opponent with like a winning record, or were you expecting a bit of a a bit of like a journeyman to step in? Um, when he pulled out, I didn't know what to expect to ask you because after um he pulled out, obviously it, it couldn't be for a title anymore because um it was too late notice. But um the lad the lad that stepped in had loads of experience. He had um thirty seven wins, thirty three by knockout. So um, he was. So were, a, you he a, was a, were you a bit caref- more careful than you normally are? Because you could see that you know he's got heavy hands, and you've seen like he he can knock you out if you if you just switch off, you're gone. Oh, definitely. Um, we we said before. Well, my coach has said before I even got in the ring. He said you got to keep keep focusing, keep focusing. Do not take your foot off the gas. Got to keep your hands up twenty four seven. That's all I got repeated again and again and again and yeah I, I kept putting that in my head I've got to keep my hands up got to keep my hands up can't show I've got to show my 100% respect and not not play the fool basically not put my hands down and let him come in so are you a fan of boxing as well I I wasn't as a kid but um as I got on I, um I I'm not the biggest fan of the world but I do I do love certain fighters like I followed when I was young I followed um Carfotch yeah. Probably my biggest following as for boxing. What about now? Like now, probably my favourite boxer at the moment now would probably be a bit like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Tyson what, Fury at the moment, yeah. What's your thoughts on him fighting Chisora then? Um I don't think he should do it. I think um, I don't think that fight should be happening whatsoever. I think there should be only two fights he should be allowed to fight now, and that'd be either AJ or um, Music. Yes. But, yeah, um, what round, well, is the question that you think 
Fury will get Chisora out of there. What round? I do think it'd be a little round because I think I think Tyson Fury will play about with him. Probably good for a good good eight rounds. Probably play around with him, and I reckon probably looking round nine or ten. Yeah. Probably just start slowing him down and think you know what it's time to take him out now. Yeah, it, it'll probably do it when he wants to. Yeah, basically that's what I think. I think he'll just have a bit of fun and play play to the crowd like he always does. What about um? Who else would you like to? Oh, would do you think? Um, do you want to see Crawford v Spence in the new year if Crawford beats Avenissian? Um, definitely. I think mean, I think that's a big fan favorite as well for both of them. Like, would love to see. And if he does get through with him, it'd be it'd be an interesting fight for both fighters. I think it, it could go either way, in my opinion. Yeah, that's the fight. Loads of fans and fighters I've interviewed are looking forward to. Let's hope they don't do it when they're both past it, like they did to Kel Brook and Amir Khan. Oh, definitely. And same, same with like Mayweather and Pacquiao. I think that should have been done in the prime as well. And hopefully they do Joshua v Fury as well soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they don't. Yeah, I'm hoping they don't do that too late. Because otherwise, I think Tyson Fury's only got what probably a couple of years left in him. No, I think yeah. he's just gonna fight AJ and Usyk, and then he's just like. Fully, just, yeah. I think that's how it should be as well. Yeah. Do you think Usyk or AJ stand the chance to beat Fury? Um, heavyweight. So one punch can t- change the fight in heavyweight division. You got to think the power from both lads. So they've always got that knockout shot that could could happen. Do I think it will happen? No, I think Tyson Fury um outboxes AJ all day long. And then I think he'd just be far too strong for um, Usyk. I think he, he'd be a bit more clever and use his body weight on Usyk. Yeah, because AJ, he did have him hurt in that second fight, but he didn't put it on him. He didn't put it on him, and I don't think he used his body weight either. Like he, I think he should have been just working, slowing him down, slowing him down, walking him down. And if anything, he, t- he kept just taking too many backward steps. Yeah. Well... We'll see what happens with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, my final question is, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a boxer? Um, my only advice to be a boxer, you've got to put 110% into it every day. No matter what you do, even even at school, like with going doing running or playing football, anything along those lines, you've got to put 100% in. You didn't put hundred percent into your whole career. Yeah, you you won't get anywhere. That'd be my only advice, really. And before I let you go, do you want to shout out like anyone who's helped you in your career, like your manager, trainer, sponsors, or anyone? Yeah, I'm mean, to shout out to all my um sponsors, um Central Chambers, Urban Tiger, Kipling Contracts, um, BGP Glass Processing. What we got? Who's shout out to my obviously my coaches, my promoter. And all my family and friends for pushing me this far. <coughs> yeah. Keep working hard, mate, and keep winning, mate. Keep smashing it. Thank you for your time. No worries. Thank you, mate. Take care. Bye, mate. Thank you. Bye.